welcome back to the channel Keith here from Commander Hoop Celtic. If this is your first time viewing my channel, please hit the subscribe button below. It helps us grow. Even a thumbs up in the video will be appreciated anytime. So I just want to wish Cameron Carter Vickers the very best in the last 16 for the US in the World Cup. They done well last night against Iran. He started a game. He was an absolute brick at the back and he done well against the Iranians. Second of all, congratulations to Aaron Moy, Celtic midfielder and former Celtic midfielder Jackson Irvin helping Australia get to the last 16 in the World Cup. They were underdogs in that group. You know, they had the Danes in there and they beat Denmark 1-0 yesterday. So congratulations to them. It's great to see them in the last 16 as well. Bit good. Tommy Rogers is not there, but it is what it is. Let's talk about the two particular players that's on the caption, the picture. Georgios Yakimakis and Josip Ivanovic. We know for the last two and a half weeks now, Josip Ivanovic turned down a new deal with Celtic. He's in contract until May 2026. 26 years of age. We bought for 2.5 million. And then there's reports that David Moyes and West Ham United now are looking to get Jovanovic in January. If they're going to pay 15 to 20 million, let them go. Let them go. As I said, Alistair Johnston, his country's playing tomorrow against Morocco in the World Cup in the final game. And I can see there's going to be a bit of development after I say hopefully by the weekend we'll have a formal deal in place. We have a fee agreed, hopefully a three million, and Montreal will be happy, Celtic will be happy, and we can start getting this guy relocated over to Glasgow as soon as possible. He might go on a little vacation and then get the deal over and done with. So very latest I can see him being a Celtic player. Very latest to be brutally honest, which is is in the next ten days. I'm not for Abisio Romero, I don't have sources, but the way this deal has been developing, the way he spoke about Celtic, the way when Yama's stories are coming out as well, I can see it happening soon enough. So Jovanovic, let him go, 27 years of age, he's not happy to stay at the club with a new approved deal. The same with Georges Yakamakis. Georges is at the scoring eight goals this season in all competitions. He's playing quite well since the turn of the new year and the reports that he's torn down a new deal as well. He's 27 years of age, same situation, May 2026. This is a guy we bought from the Air Vise, a relegate team from VV Venom. Could have went for 8 to 9 million. We got him for little to nothing. And if we lose Georgios in January or even in the summer, I think it's a massive kick in the teeth for Celtic. You know, his physicality, we haven't had a physical player like that since Dembele, a powerhouse. And Yakimakis does the whole thing. The tracking back, the running, the badass temperament, the head and the ball. The only thing he's lacking is penalties. He can't convert a penalty for his life. So let's see what happens. I still believe, I've said it many times on the channel before the Yakimakis talk, that we still need to improve and get another striker. 100%, especially in this window. If Yakimakis goes, which I can't see him really going, to be honest with you, perhaps sell him for five to six million minimum and try sell him for even most most 12 million i don't know who's going to come in for him but you know there was a couple of premier league teams sniffing around before the tran the last transfer when those reports that Southampton were looking at him as well at a point and then championships so like Burnley were looking at him as well so i can't see yakamakis going we've been linked with a egyptian midfielder he's 26 years of age he plays in egypt their club is at the coming out. They're based in Cairo saying that their value as five million. And to be honest with you, folks, I can't see Celtic paying five million for a guy that's playing attacking midfield in an Egyptian league, which we know feck all about him. Feck all about him. In the summer, 300 grand was dashed at them from a Turkish side and they were happy, nearly happy to take the offer and then they stalled last minute. And now they're looking for five million. No. That's why I haven't really spoke about who he is, what he does. What type of player he is because it's not worth it's not worth going into full detail about this guy. So I can't see any development there. But that's really it for me. Um, let me know how you feel about Jovanovic and obviously Yakamakis. And I do apologise to people. I don't comment below user comments. Busy times. The dikes and the thumbs do it off. So I'll speak to you all soon. Hell hell.